There was another channel that did a, a video on Hellboy. They think it was like 15,000, I think. All right, I think they're talking about my channel. So we're finally back talking about the Tow Truck Olympics again. Um, it's been a few months. Um, if you watch my uh, previous video um, about selling the big block, I talk about why. I was going to move on from weight and talk about something else like horsepower or um, twin sticking to do front digs, winches, hydraulic versus electric, you know, all, all the other stuff that's going on with the trucks. Um, but um, there's just so many comments, um, questions, opinions, input on the weight. I thought I'd do a follow up video. Um, I have some updates on weights i have some corrections because i'm an idiot um and i have even a demonstration because some people weren't uh getting what i was talking about so we'll do the demonstration later on in the video and we'll have some updates on my tow truck and what's going on with that all right so first off hellboy's weight uh from murphy's diesel um as you saw that, from that little clip they actually weighed the truck um they were doing a contest with guessing the weight i don't know if it's over yet because i haven't seen them post the weight um so if it's still going on by the time this video gets posted um go over there and guess you can win some free merch from murphy's diesel um no i have no correlation with them so this doesn't benefit me and like i said i don't think they've uh posted it yet i haven't seen it um but i did see uh, so in some of the comments, like even some people are asking in the comments, you know, have you posted the weight yet? Where's the weight? I haven't seen the weight. Um, maybe it'll be posted by the time I post this video. Who knows? And now I'll be wrong again. <laughs> um, but I did notice in the comments, anybody who guessed in about the high 12s, they replied to them saying, email us at such and such. So maybe those guys are getting some merch. And so that would lead me to believe that the weight is in the high 12,000s. So even if we go with 12.5, that's still pretty heavy. And it puts it at a 74 um, on the fricked scale. If you remember, we were doing tire height times tires and dividing that all by the weight of the truck. Or sorry, dividing the weight of the truck by all that. Um, maybe I should call that the fricter scale. <laughs> No, no. Okay, that's stupid. Which again, uh, like I said in the previous video, that measurement does really nothing other than measure um, a rough, loose comparability of them sinking in the sand. Um, but even then, it is inaccurate because we don't know the width of the tires in these statements. And we don't know uh, the weight bias per axle. Uh, uh, like I said, it's just... a uh, just to entertain a rough comparison, um, just because everybody was worried about Eric's truck being too heavy and sinking. Um, which brings us to Eric's truck. Um, remember how in the first video I said, I was trying to remember, I thought you said 10,000, but I couldn't find the video. It was right here. Look at this. I can't believe I missed this. Like, how stupid am I? 9,000 pounds. It says it right in the title of the video. Uh, who who's letting me do this like i'm, I'm not certified so at nine thousand pounds with 37 inch tall tires six of them that puts them at 40.5 on the frictor scale which is better than before so it even helps my my point that his truck is not as sinkable as everybody thinks it is moving on to paul's truck paul's truck is looking wild it's got a narrow front end that's just looking badass um they got rock slides he just keeps adding more and more and more weight to the truck but more and more protection more and more functionality um truck's gonna be wild um i'm still sticking with my guess at nine thousand pounds but now he went to 40s instead of 37s so maybe he watched my video and he's listening no he uh there, there, there's no way um i'm just kidding with that i'm, I'm not that high on myself um I know in previous videos, he stated he was building it to fit 40s. So this was our always a plan. Either way, it's got 40s now. Even 
still with my guess of 9,000 pounds with the truck, which it could be more, it could be less. I don't know. He has been adding a lot of weight. Even at the 9,000 pounds uh, with the 40s, it is 56.25 on the Frichter scale. So it is still up there. Um, that didn't help it a whole lot. Matt's world's largest wrecker is coming along. It's almost complete. It's running. Um, that SEMA right now, it is just amazing looking. Um, can't wait to see that thing go. Um, he's still saying it's going to be about 12,000 pounds or possibly under. He had a big spiel about it, how he's calculated all the metal weight and everything, and it will be 12,000 pounds or less. Um, so that one can stay where it is. So I guess it's a good thing that it takes me forever right now to edit my videos and whatnot. Uh, Matt just posted a video that I just watched where he actually weighed the truck. Um, it, again, it's a contest of how much it weighs, people guess. So um, he hasn't stated it, but so if uh, he hasn't posted it by the time you've seen this, um, go over there and guess and I think you can win some stuff. Um, same with Murphy's Diesel, go over there and guess if he hasn't posted it yet, get some pre-merch. And now for the demonstration. All right, so I got a couple comments about how does the tire height relate with it sinking into the sand. Um, that's the width, not the height. You know, uh, one comment said we're not peeling the tires and using them as tank tracks. So what does that guy do with anything? Um, it still affects the footprint overall. Also, there was a comment um, saying that the pressure on the ground is the uh, amount of psi you have in the tire which it, it, it's directly related but it, it it has no correlation that way it i mean then if you think about it, like one psi you'd only have one pound per square inch on the ground or zero psi you'd put no pressure on the ground um it, it, it doesn't work like that it just the less pressure in the tire the more footprint is on the ground so the less pressure it does put on the ground but if you have 30 psi in the tire it's not 30 psi on the ground so um, I did a little measuring and stuff. Um, I was in the middle of moving, so I was hoping to do it with the crew cab. I was hoping to do it a little bit better and in-person film stuff. I didn't have time to film, so I just took a few pictures. So I'll just kind of post them up here while I talk about it and just follow with me. Uh, I used the Suburban. I want to see what the 40s look like on it, and I actually was going to store the 40s on it. I ended up opting out of that, but that's why they ended up on that, even though I didn't have much time. Um... And so we're going to use that truck in this example. Um, the truck weighed about 6,500 pounds when I had it on the road. Um, I've added weight to it. I've taken weight off. I don't know what it weighs now, but we're going to, we're going to guess the 6,500 just as our number for this example. Now, the tires that were on it that I measured were 265, 75, 16. They measure out to be a 31 point whatever so we're just gonna say they're 31 now i measured those and they had a footprint of about six long and nine wide um so that would be about 54 square inches the 40s i measured them off the truck and on the truck and just off the truck with no weight on it uh same pressure as the 31s i can't remember what pressure i was at but they they all had the same pressure i think it was 30 psi um with no weight they were seven uh, long and 12 wide for 84 square inches and that so we've increased our length by an inch on our footprint without even having any weight on that um, with the weight of the truck on them it was 14 long and 14 wide for 196 square feet so we literally doubled the length of our footprint just going from a 31 to a 40 even if they were the same width, they would still have twice the footprint. And now the 40s are also wider, so it even adds more to that. Like, they're, literally, they're only four inches wider, and they're literally four times the footprint. So four times less likely to sink. Now, the actual math for that to figure out how much pressure it puts, the pressure down is PSI, pounds per square inch. We just figured out our square inch footprint, and we know how many pounds the truck weighs. So we can divide uh, our weight by our footprint and we can get that. So with the 40s at 196 square inches uh, times by four tires, that's 784 square inches, 6,500 pounds divided by 700, 
is 8.3 psi. Uh, now going back to the 31s, they are 54 square inches times by 4, that's 216 square inches. Uh, 6500 divided by 216 is 30.1 psi. So that, that's quite a bit more pressure on the ground. And just to relate this to what we were doing with the Frichter scale, we'll take the weight or the width out of it and we'll just do the Frichter scale. Um, the 40s, 6,500 pounds divided by four 40s equals 40.6 on the Frichter scale. That's where the Suburban would relate to the other trucks. Um, and on the 31s, it would be 52.4. So that kind of shows you quite the jump there and kind of shows you how the Frichter scale was working. Um, as you can see, it's not exactly accurate now that you've seen all the numbers. So there you go, weight part two. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope this cleared up a few things. Um, currently, snow is flying outside. We're, we're in a blizzard right now. I had a, a crazy time getting to and from work. It was awesome sliding around. Um, but that means winter is here. Um, I know it's still fall technically, but winter is here. That means the Winter Olympics for the trucks is coming. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Um, obviously I won't be competing. Like everybody was all upset saying, who are you to invite yourself? I never invited myself. I was just saying it'd be cool to join. Uh, a few people commented saying it'd be cool to join. Um, same with a few other trucks. As far as I know, it's just the four that I mentioned in previous video, Eric, Matt, Paul, and Rory. Um, my truck right now, I haven't done a thing with it. I haven't touched it since my last video. Um, other than putting an oil filter uh, adapter on or oil cooler line delete adapter for the oil filter. Other than that, I haven't touched the truck. Um, it might be going to storage for winter. I don't know. Um, if you look at my previous video, it kind of explains why. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I can do some more videos here coming up soon. And I can't wait for the Olympics. Uh, may the best tow truck and operator win. And whoever wins, they're all winners and they're all awesome and all their trucks are wild. Uh, thanks for watching.